Welcome back subscribers to Meals with Michael. Today we're going to do a crock pot dish, but it starts in the pan and then it moves to the crock pot. We're doing classic steak and potatoes. So you can use any kind of steak that you like. I am using a, um, I believe it's a top <laughs> loin uh, from this. I don't usually eat a lot of meat, so this is an experiment for me. And what I've done, I have two large pieces here of this. It's going to fit in my seven quart crock pot and we're just going to have that and potatoes and seasonings and that's pretty much it. So I've made a compound butter. Compound butter sound difficult. They're not. They're really easy. You take any butter, an unsalted butter, and you just let it soften and you add whatever you want to it to make it a compound butter. So I made one with basically a kebab seasoning, a Mediterranean kebab seasoning that I really like. It's a Turkish seasoning. So that's going to give a little extra flavor to the steak while it's in the crock pot. You don't have to do this step. You don't have to sear your steak and everything. You can put it straight in the crock pot. However, I think we should sear our steaks. So that is what we're going to do. So I've had my pan going here. And that is the sound you want to hear. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're just going to give that a couple of minutes on each side. And make sure we flip over the butter. Because really all you're doing is you're giving it a bit of a crust and a bit of color. <laughs> and a bit of smoke. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lower my heat. <laughs> okay. Because it's mainly going to cook in your crock pot. It's going to be a slow cook. Going to be six hours in your crock pot so i'm just taking this one and moving it into my crock pot and you'll notice that my crock pot actually has a liner on it i love crock pot liners they are easier to clean easier to pick up things but if you can't find a liner or you don't like them you can spray your crock pot with some cooking spray and that will help as well so don't need much time <laughs> on this high heat I'm hoping no smoke alarms go off. <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> and my husband's a smoke alarm. <laughs> so I'm going to just move that off the heat and put that back into the middle. Take that off the heat so we don't have anything from smoke, hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out during the staping if I have to stop all of a sudden. All right, so it's steak and potatoes. Once again, you have your crock pot. I have a seven quart, there's a lot of smoke. We need to open some windows, hold on a second. Okay, so smoke alarm went off. <laughs> so that's all good though. <laughs> we got windows open, we got doors open. Next time I try and do something like this, I'll start that way instead of ending. All right, so steak and potatoes. So I have four or five russets. I did about five pounds of russet potatoes that I cut into very large chunks as you can see here. So you basically just, Put that on top, <laughs> simple enough, right? And then you're gonna add in onion soup mix on top of your potatoes. And you're gonna add a little bit of beef broth to the bottom of this to give it some moisture. Because potatoes don't have a lot of moisture. The steak itself doesn't have, it has some fat, but not a lot of moisture to it. So you are going to Add in some beef broth to this. Depending upon the size of your crock pot, I'm putting it around the edges so it gets down to the meat. Okay. And if you don't feel like you have enough beef broth, you can add some water, or if you don't want to use beef broth, you can do water. Either one of those is fine. Um, just a little bit of extra salt. A little bit of pepper. And then you're going to cover this and you're going to cook it on low for six hours. So this is not something that you do late in the day <laughs> unless you want to stay up late taking care of it. It is something you start in the morning that you basically have it ready for dinner when you come home and everything. So we're going to put it on low for six hours and that's pretty much it. And then we'll come back and we'll see you six hours from now and give you an idea of what this is like. Okay, subscribers. So it has been six, six hours that this has been cooking in the crock pot. I do have to tell you that after I put the lid on, 
I realized I should add a little more liquid, so I added a little more uh, beef stock to it, and I added a second package of onion soup mix because I felt it wasn't enough flavoring. It just didn't seem like it would be enough. So, two packets of onion soup mix, um, about a quarter of a box of the, um, so that would be a cup, yeah, quarter box, would <laughs> be a cup of the um, broth, and we will see how this has come out as we try here. So, first, of course, our very large cut potatoes are fairly tender, so that's a good thing. As <laughs> they drop on the plate. So we'll see how quickly. Yep. Okay, so those are good. I've never made this before, so I'm testing this for the first time myself. And we'll just see where it goes. And then we have to get down to our steaks that are at the very bottom of this. That's fun. <laughs> there they are. There's one anyway. Let's see. How did that come out? obviously fully cooked because it's been six hours so it should be fully cooked you have a lot of broth which is good you can make an actual thick gravy if you want it out of that but instead we're just going to use it to cover on the potato give it a nice cut oh yeah that looks really good and give it a quick try Pretty decent uh, for just a steak and potato type of dish. It's almost like in a brisket style because of the onion soup mix and the beef broth and everything it makes of that. So you've got some good potatoes, you've got some good beef. Um, I would obviously add a nice crisp salad to this, maybe some vegetables, things to go with it that way. But you have a crock pot steak and potato that you can start in the morning, finish when you get home at night and just have dinner ready in just a few minutes at that point. So this has been Meals with Michael. Hope you have enjoyed this. Subscribe, tell your friends, and we will see you next time.